Hi guys, this is Sarah Rattray for Sea Rock Live magazine at searocklive.com. We're here at the Mod Club for Indie Week Finals. It's pretty exciting. It's been a great week. I'm here with Crankshaft. Uh, they're a band from Vancouver, metal band. Uh, how are you guys enjoying the week so far? Well, it's killer. I mean, just partying, having fun, meeting lots of new people, playing good shows and stuff. Yeah. You guys excited to get back to Van? Do you have any tours coming up? What's, what's going on? No tours right now. We are going to go back. Uh, we are going to get into the studio, start working on some new stuff, put out a new EP. And then uh, once that's all ready, we'll start, start pumping that across the country again. Nice, nice, nice. So it's been a good week. It's been pretty exciting. You guys had an amazing show on Thursday that I caught. How was, uh, how was the vibe there at Cherry Colas? Did you guys enjoy it? Uh, the vibe was perfect. And um, on stage, it felt really cool. We had a great set list, I think. People really enjoyed it. And I personally had a lot of fun. I know the guys did as well. I think yeah. the crowd really enjoyed uh, our show. I know, I liked it. It was, it was pretty awesome. Pretty killer band, you guys. You should definitely check them out. Um, what, what are your plans for when you get back to Van? I mean, just just keep writing new material. I mean, that's that's our main goal right now is just to get get some new stuff out there. I know we released the uh, the last EP about almost 18 months ago, so I feel like it's time to hit the market with some new gear. So nice. Do you guys think you'll be back next year? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. 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 We get the invite. We'll we'll come back and we'll we'll kick some more ass. Yeah. Maybe do a little East Coast. Uh, like r we play rickshaw, we play venue, we play, uh, <laughs> we play railway, railway club, play railway studio. We, we play it all over Vancouver. You know, working our way up the uh, venue tier, so to speak. Do you have any big shows booked for when you get back? Are you guys just going to relax for a little bit? You know, we do have a show booked uh, on November 24th, uh, and I think that'll be the last show of the year for, for us. Yeah. So where is that at? Uh, it's at the Blackbird Hall, yeah. right? Yeah, that's in Surrey, so it's kind of just off of Vancouver. Uh, yeah, it'll be just a nice little year-end show. Just uh, wrap it up, and we'll enjoy the holidays after. One How do you guys? Show for the fans. Sorry, one last show for the fans. Nice. How do you guys find the scene in Toronto compared to Van? Far better. The venues are better. There's way more venues like this, like such as the Mod Club, which are actually show theaters. You know, Vancouver. I mean, you've, you've got stuff like the Vogue and things like that, but I mean, those are mostly signed acts coming through on signed tours and put up by Live Nation. As far as like independent music and local bands, I mean, the venues like this just don't really exist. You know, I found a lot of bars around here sometimes have two rooms. You have two separate shows going on at the same time. It's it's just not the same. Like in Vancouver, <laughs> two thirty in the morning, you'll never see people at metal shows. They all be at like clubs watching a DJ or something. But here in Toronto, like <laughs> we're playing at two thirty in the morning, and it's cr clubs packed, and it's awesome. Yeah, four, four a.m. last call makes a big difference. <laughs> Having live music till four a.m. is an awesome thing because in Vancouver, you often have to leave the stage by eleven o'clock so a DJ act can go and do their own gig afterwards. So I personally like the Toronto music scene a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Live music rocks, right? Yeah. Screw the DJs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should I wore your t-shirt. Actually, it's pretty funny. Josh has a t-shirt that says, fuck the DJ. Should I worn that? Fuck the DJ, yeah. I didn't bring that one with me, but yeah. I'm a whore for live music. I go to concerts all the time. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. Okay, and so how has Indie Week been for you guys? Indie Week has been a, a good experience throughout. A uh, good chance for us to see all the different bands uh, that Toronto has to offer, all the different venues. Um, we were able to take a bunch of the new songs that we've written and try them out on a new audience and uh, make sure that they're ready to, for when we go in to record. And I think uh, I think a lot of them blew people's socks off and I think we'll be right set when we go to record our next album. I think the audience definitely took well to it from what I saw on Thursday at least. It was, uh, it was a pretty awesome show actually. For those of you who didn't see it, you missed a good one. Yeah. If we were to take something back from, from Indie Week, it would just be about uh, you know trying to go there and, and, and rebuild the scene. The scene's been dying a little bit. I think everyone from Vancouver knows that. But uh, I think it's up to the artists to, uh, to keep putting out good music and to keep engaging the crowd and, and, and giving them a reason to go out and, and, uh, and build these scenes back up to what they once were. Yeah, same for Toronto. Like, let's get let's get rock and roll back, right? Let's get live music. All the venues. Rock stars again, right? That's right. That's Maybe right. We should, do, uh, we should do Indie Week Vancouver. <laughs> that sounds great. Let's talk to Daryl. Spend it up there.